and welcome to another booktube video from me Lauren from Lauren and the Books. I hope you're all having a lovely lovely day today. Today is my July at the moment video. Um, July at the moment or just at the moment videos are videos that I do went to push my glasses up my face and I haven't got glasses on um, our videos that I do sort of mid-month really so this is quite late um, where I talk about the last film that I've watched what books I'm reading the last TV program I've watched what I've been doing online videos I've been watching just because I love filming my um, favorites videos um, which I film um, on the first day of uh, the month uh, for the for the previous month uh, where I talk about things that I've um, loved throughout the month and I was finding that I was having more and more things that I wanted to talk about that weren't necessarily my favorites um, so I just thought that this was a good opportunity to do this. It started off as a tag, um, a tag video, and now I just tend to do it every month. So that's why I'm here. So I will be working my way through the list of things. Um, the last, the last film that I watched, etc., etc. Let's start with the last film that I watched. The last film that David and I watched was at the cinema. We don't tend to watch many films during the summer um, and during the hot times, just because we just don't and also love island songs we've been watching that um but the last film we went to watch was at the cinema and we actually went that day because it was so hot we wanted to just chill out at the cinema um oh no this isn't the last film i watched at the cinema so i put here that the last film i watched at the cinema was yesterday which i guess was the last film i watched at the cinema because david and i went to watch yesterday when it was really really hot it was a really really hot day it's a good few weeks ago now we went to watch it it's a new film uh, the new richard curtis film uh, Richard Curtis uh, is the director of one of my favourite films ever, About Time, um, and this is a new film about a chap who um, is a struggling musician, um, and he um, he has uh, he has a car accident. Uh, no, he's on a bike and he gets um, hit while he's on a bike by a bus. When he wakes up, um, there's been a massive um, uh, like power outage, and uh, nobody in the world remembers the Beatles apart from seemingly him. Um, so he sort of like this, this comes about when he's talking to his friends and stuff, and then he, as he's been a struggling musician, he decides to sort. Of pass off some of the Beatles songs as his own. Um, now the performances in this I really really enjoyed. I really liked the guy who played the main character and I'm a big fan of Lily James as well anyway so like the the actors and the, uh, the actors in it were just really great. Um, but what David and I found is that we didn't really ever feel like it was like it didn't make me feel happy like because because he was passing off songs that weren't his um he was never truly happy so like on the occasion like he'd, he'd do a, a, an album of of Beatles songs and try to pop one of his songs on and it wouldn't like it, nobody would like it so he was ever never really truly happy which sort of like felt I've never felt truly happy watching it because I could see that he wasn't having his his best time so yeah it was um it was a strange one like and I didn't like I said I enjoyed the performances and I enjoyed the songs and stuff but like as a plot for me it just didn't really work so soz um, but that's how I felt about it but the actual last thing I saw at the cinema which doesn't count as a film but I will mention it here is Westlife um concert in Croke Park so I'm a Westlife fan they're an Irish I would say boy band but they're not they're a man band um and they were very popular sort of like early to, uh, 2000s and uh, my two friends Emily and Jenny are big Westlife fans as well um and we went to see them earlier this in fact the day after I went to see the Spice Girls it was a bit of a sort of like reminiscent week um and their last performance of this current tour um, which they performed at Croke Park in Dublin um, was um, put out on cinemas which I see is becoming a more and more popular thing I've actually saw something on Facebook this morning that said that the Love Island final is going to be um, shown for free at local cinemas um, so yeah it seems to be a more and more thing that they're, they're showing um, they're showing like uh, concerts and um, big TV events and things like that at cinemas which is lovely because some people can't afford to go to the concert like but you can afford to go and see it at the cinema so yeah I really enjoyed it and it was nice to sort of like the people that we were sat in the cinema with were also really big Westlife fans. We were all sort of like singing along. There was a big sort of camaraderie feeling, but just to sort of chill with popcorn and sweets and a drink was just a really, really nice thing to do. So that is the last thing I saw at the cinema. I don't know if that counts as the last film I saw at the cinema, but very much enjoyed it. Very much enjoyed it. Uh, TV, the last TV program I watched, um, God, it's been a few days, but it was the taskmaster final i believe it's season nine that they're on at the moment um and it was the taskmaster final spoilers lou sanders won um but uh yeah and i was very pleased with that david has got a big old crush on lou sanders he keeps talking about her and saying how much of a crush he's got on her um and really enjoyed taskmaster if you haven't seen it before it's a um it's a i believe they've got they've got 
the same the, the guy that um sort of is the brains behind it alex horn he did um he did a, an american version of it um which i don't know if that went on to a second series but i watched a few episodes of that so it's a series of um celebrities normally um comedians but sort of actors and tv presenters um etc and they have a series of tasks to complete like from really really like they're all really strange i'm trying to think of one or oh, they had to like work out this they had a caravan and they had to work out how many beans the caravan was in diameter like baked beans and like other things like they have to make films or make trailers for stuff and yeah it's just really 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 random stuff but I really enjoy watching it and it's just such cozy comforting reading uh, watching so quite often David and I will go back and watch our previous favorite series and stuff so the, the final of that was on 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 Wednesday and I think we watched it on like it was on last Wednesday, I think we watched it on Monday. We watched it while my friend Emma was around, so that's the last program I watched. Books that I am currently reading at the moment. So I've got two audiobooks on the go. The one, one is, um, till I'll, go, I'll go over it because there's five books in total, I won't go into great detail. Uh, the first book that I am listening to is Till the Cows Come Home by Sarah Cox. Sarah Cox is a um, radio presenter and TV presenter um, and I'm very fond of her. I find her very very funny and she was um, born in Lancashire which isn't far from where we've actually just been on holiday um, and this is a sort of memoir of her childhood. What I will say is like it's fine I'm enjoying it but I'm getting a real feeling of you know like if you're at someone's house um, so if I, if I meant to like if, so say I was at like uh, yeah you're at someone's house and you're with their family and they're all having a meal and they're talking about memories from when they were a child and like to begin with you're like oh yeah that's really interesting oh that's interesting and then it just goes on for like hours and hours and you're a bit like right all right well I've heard all this now should we talk about I don't know something that's on telly or what's outside the window like it feels a bit like that and I'm not not enjoying it and like her delivery is lovely and it's really cozy and cute hearing her talk about her family but it's just yeah it's just a bit I don't know, it's just a bit, there's something, something about it, I'm not loving it. Um, the other book I'm listening to is La Belle Sauvage, um, the first volume of The Book of Dust. Love this, I am currently about to listen to all of the, um, His Dark Materials and The Books of Dust, so The Book of Dust first, then His Dark Materials, in time for when the second volume of The Book of Dust comes out in October, um, because that, sort of from what I understand that picks up when Lyra is an adult so the book of dust follows Lyra when she's a baby then you get the his dark materials which are Lyra's like like that follows Lyra when she's a child so I'm trying to get everything done in order um I really love this I, I, I love the um the audiobook more than I love the book actually Martin Sheen does a fantastic job of it um, and I've taken to there's, there's some really like tense bits in it and I've taken to listening to those quite sped up because his voice just works so well when it's sped up and it's like trying to get it all out and we got like that so really really love this um adaptation uh, really really love the audiobook of it and if you fancy re-listening to it uh, revisiting it before the next book comes out I would absolutely recommend the audio because I just think it's fantastic then the three books I'm reading I'm literally about to finish this this is Home Home by Lisa Allen Agostini um, and this is a short a really short little YA book um, this actually won the Burt Award for Caribbean Young Adult Literature uh, it came third in 2017 um, and it's got so much representation in here for a tiny little book I'm amazed by it so it's got um, it's a Trinidadian teenager who has moved to Canada to live with her auntie and her girlfriend um, because she is suffering from depression so it's got like all levels of uh, representation in there really enjoying it um, I, I, I started reading it before the holiday and then put it down um, but yeah I'm about to finish it now um, I'm also reading Happy Fat Taking Up Space in a World That Wants to Shrink You by Sophie Hagen I've actually just had an email from the library saying that um, I, need, I did this book's due back so I need to see if I can renew it if not I'm gonna have to take it back and I'm not that far through but very enjoyable body positive book about being fat enjoying it like this little tummy there um, and then this is the book that i am reading for my um online uh, for my patreon book club this is hunger by roxanne gay um i'm about i'm still about a third of the way through i need to um crack on with this a bit more because we're discussing this next weekend so this is a, uh, a memoir of roxanne gay's um it says here a memoir of my body um and this follows roxanne gay and her relationship with her body following a devastating um a sexual a sexual assault on herself um and yeah um interesting and very important so those are the books that i'm reading um uh, music so um, David and I, not ordinarily when we go on holiday, where we've just been, and we, we always drive on holiday because we holiday in the UK mainly, we always make up playlists and things like that and listen to them. We didn't listen to any music the whole way there or the whole way back because we were just listening to audiobooks and podcasts, which was obviously for me an absolute joy. 
and Joy links into my favourite song. There was a song by Bastille called Joy, um, and I heard it for the first time on Graham Norton when Andrew Scott was in it. Andrew Scott. <laughs> Um, and uh, <laughs> I heard it for the first time and I've been listening to it loads and it, I just love the song. I really, really love it. It's really joyful, which is shocking for a song called Joy. But it really reminds me of David, like the lyrics are like, Joy, when you call me, like I see your face on the phone and it makes me light up and it does make me light up. And um, how do you always know when I'm down? And it's just lovely. I will link um, the video to the song down below because it's absolutely lovely. And I love Dan from Bastille's voice. He's just got a fantastic, very unusual voice. Very sort of like, can hit all the notes ever. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to hit the note that they hit in Joy because it's just amazing. But yeah, he's got a really, really unusual and impressive voice. So that is the song that I've been loving. Uh, podcast, I've just listened to um a good read which is a radio 4 podcast i listen to podcasts every single day um, but the last podcast i've read because that's the point of this video uh, the last podcast i've listened to um is a good read by radio 4 so this is a radio 4 um one of their bookish podcasts um where they talk about they get um uh, uh, celebrities in and they talk about a good read so they have two celebrities in and the host also puts forward a book um, so it's very very short snippets sort of like 10 minutes discussion on each book maybe not even that and the uh, the episode I just listened to was Dolly Alderton who is a journalist whose podcast both of her podcasts I absolutely love um, and I've got a book which I need to read as well. I don't know why I was looking there, it's over there. Um, and also Claire McIntosh, um, who is an author that I've seen talk before at Lush Book Club. Um, she previously has written crime books. She's an ex-police officer. But I know that her recent book is not a crime book, so I'm interested to do that. And they were just talking about two books that I'd never heard of, and then the host brought up a book that I had heard of. But it's just a really good way to get recommendations and to hear about books that you otherwise would never hear about. So very much enjoy that podcast and would recommend it because they have some really good guests on there, um, and you get to hear about some other books. And it's just always always nice to hear people talk about books always enjoy it uh, the last two things are things that i've been doing online um so things that i've been doing online and also a youtube the last youtube video i watched so uh, the last thing that i did online and i've been doing it a lot because i've become quite into this oh i need to find out what my code is hold on got me code so the last thing i've done online is something that my cousin laura recommended to me because she's wonderful for recommendations and this is um a company called splosh and i've got their app on my phone which i am like, going on daily because i've become obsessed with it so splosh is a company by which you buy household products and i've got some here that i'm going to show you um where you um and, and you're able to save plastic because you are no longer buying plastic bottles um new plastic bottles every time you buy these products so um what you do is you buy whatever products you want so for instance i've got the fabric conditioner laundry detergent uh, washing up liquid uh, hand wash this is my favorite hand wash of all time green tea and mint it smells amazing I'm, like it's in my bathroom that I don't even really use and I've been going in there just to use this um, and shower gel this is a uh, lemon and ginger shower gel that David and I have both been using he is very picky with his shower gel so I'm so pleased that we found one that he likes so you buy a sort of starter kit of these plastic bottles um, and then from then on you get refills and they come in the post like this so this is my uh, mint and green tea refill so it comes in a a cardboard box like this and this is the refill and in here is six bottles uh, this is six bottle concentrate refill so on this bottle you can see you might not be able to see you can see um here is a line so when i've used this bottle up i rinse it out of water and then fill it up to this line with uh, warm water and then the rest of the um the rest i top it up with the refill give it a good uh, slosh and then that's that's my uh, hand soap that I'll be using. So then, <laughs> there's quite a lot of detail involved with this. So then these um, pouches, so when this is empty, I get eight of these and fill one of these boxes up. So you fill four on top of each other and then fold the other two in half and send them back with the label that they have sent um, to Splosh um, and they will recycle them. So you are saving bottles because you're not buying a new bottle of hand wash every time, a new bottle of shower gel every time. Shower gel, we get through so much shower gel. So this is gonna be an amazing, um, amazing thing. And yeah, you're, you're saving bottle you're saving plastic bottles so really really into this like think it's amazing really pleased i have used the shower gel and the hand wash um haven't used the um any of these yet but my cousin laura has and she is very much enjoys them really like the smell of the washing powder uh, the washing liquid so i'm looking forward to that and yeah i'm really pleased with it so so far david and i um having bought all of this so this was 17 pounds for all of these plus the hand wash um and that's your starter kit because you've got like the bottles and everything and then from then on i think the the green tea hand wash was 6.95 and that's six so that's just over a pound for each i can't remember how much the shower gels were and the shower gels are three three refills because it's bigger um but yeah really really enjoying it think it's an amazing thing and already david and i so on, on your um on your splosh app 
um, which looks like this, it tells you how many uh, bottles you save. So already I have saved nine bottles, um, just having bought the, the refills for uh, six uh, mint green teas and uh, mint, mint green teas, mint and green teas hand wash and three um, ginger and grapefruit uh, shower gels. So yeah, really, really enjoying this. This is something that I'm very much into. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get into a sort of habit of at the beginning of the month, checking what I've got running out ordering any refills I might need and you're not going to need refills every month because you're going to be keeping very much up like you're, you're going to be on top of this and having sort of like six bottles worth of um hand wash in the, in the house already is really helpful so really really love it and uh, this isn't a sponsored link or an affiliate link or anything like well uh, does does this count as an affiliate link I don't know um but I really love it and I think it's really amazing. So what I've got is if you are interested in doing this, I've got a code and I use Laura's code. So she got the money off. You can use a code, um, which I will insert here and also down, down below. Um, and this will give you three pound off your first starter box. Um, if you spend over 15 pounds. So I believe the starter box I got had, uh, I added a few things on. I added the shower gel on and we added the fabric conditioner on. I think you get three pound off of that. And my account gets, um, gets, um, accredited with a pound which is lovely because it means I get money off my future refills so if you are interested in doing this um, because I just think it's a really really good scheme and I really really love it and I feel a bit bad mentioning it in my well, I don't feel bad because I think it's a fantastic scheme but I'm going to be mentioning this in my favourites as well because I'm really really up for this um, it's just another way to cut back on plastic very exciting so we'll link everything down below if you want to use this because I would completely recommend it um, particularly like the two products I've used so far and as, as I go on and use more things I'll definitely keep you updated if you'd like to but that is what I've been doing online recently um so yeah I can, I can stop going on about that now and then the last thing i was going to talk about is the last youtube video i watch which is a bit similar to this in that saving the environment and stuff but i've just watched jean from jean's bookish thoughts i'm sure you all know her um she's done a, a thrifted lookbook video on her channel now i've been really getting into buying secondhand clothes this year using depop still keen to use charity shops but still haven't found anything in any charity shops that fit me yet um or isn't like for a much older market um, um, but she's done a lookbook where she um, sort of styles some of the clothes that she's bought from charity shops and she's bought online uh, secondhand like Depop and eBay and stuff. And I really, really enjoyed watching that. I'm very much behind um, secondhand clothes and, and buying buying once so that you've got something that lasts a long time um and yeah i just feel like the, the outfits that she picks in there she styled them really well and she's just got some good um tips and things like that so yeah i will uh, link that video down below as well along with my fast fashion video if you haven't seen that i've got a sort of like yeah i guess i would call it a lookbook um at the end of that video where i show you some of the outfits that i've bought secondhand online so those are uh, those are the things that i've been up to at the moment let me know what sort of films you've been watching telly books what you've been doing online what is the last youtube video you watched always interested to hear about that and i will see you all again soon for another booktube video goodbye